Hello, dear friends. My bank account has just been sized, and I don't know why. I'm not the first one. Opinion piece. Solar Micronova. Platonic Year. Giant Eruptions. Galactic Superwave. Galactic Polar Shift. From Darkness to Light. Pole Shift in the Sun. Earth's Pole Shift. Could affect satellites. Let's start. A supernova is the explosion of a star in which a large amount of energy is released, and a micronova is a type of small-scale stellar explosion that only lasts several hours. According to COBRA, when there is a solar micronova, a galactic superwave is produced. This seems like an astronomic class, but it is something that could affect us all for better or worse, depending on how you look at it. Years ago, I lived with scientists from the Spanish-German Astronomical Observatory, and I know what, that what they see through their telescopes is very real. The theory of the galactic superwave was proposed by astrophysicist Paul Laviolette in 1983. He postulated that the galactic center emits gravitational waves cyclically, called superwaves, which consist of explosions of cosmic rays and travel following the course of a gra gravitational wave emitted from the center of the galaxy. Electrogravity. Paul Laviolette has produced many books on electrogravity, an unconventional type of anti-gravity effect of propulsion created by the effect of an electric field of mass and would be capable of powering flying saucers. Electrogravity is a true anti-gravity technology that can create a force that depends on the mass of the object in the same way that gravity works. Electrogravity is a concept that refers to an unconventional type of anti-gravity effect or propulsion created by the effect of an electric field of mass. It has been mentioned in several videos and websites, including the idea of using a relationship between electricity and gravity to develop a new form of travel. Experiments on electrogravity have been carried out by different individuals, such as the engineer Luis Alberto Migliorero. It is further claimed that larger space companies were working on it in the 1950s and that this technology became highly classified in the 1960s, that it was used to power the B-2 bomber, and that it could be used to generate free energy. Galaxy. The galaxy rotates around a toroidal field and is connected to a scalar field, which creates timely pulses. There is a pulse every 26,000 years, from the center of the galaxy emanating from the cosmic central sun, a pulse of both physical and non-physical particles called a galactic superwave. Part of this superwave propagates time and physical space, and another part propagates a scalar field, a non-physical aspect. This is how the sun would become a micronova as a stargate. Ancient scientists knew about the cycle and called it the platonic year. In astronomy, platonic year refers to the period it takes for the Earth's precession to make one complete revolution, which is exactly equivalent to 25,776 years, due to the precession of the equinoxes. This phenomenon involves the complete rotation of the Earth's axis of rotation around the elliptical of the North Pole. This angular displacement is equivalent to one degree every 71.6 years. When the Sun crossed the galactic equator in 1998, it was the exact moment the old precession cycle ended and the new one began. Other scientific evidence was the measurement of isotopes in ice core samples in Greenland.
they have discovered exactly the same transition progress, process that occurs with the end of the cycles. They discovered the solo micronova event. We can expect it to happen at any time. According to COBRA, a magnetic pole shift occurred two years ago in a galaxy, but the process only lasted about four years. The galactic magnetic field reversed its polarity in four years. So, it is a very rapid process. When the galactic superwave hits, it would be a super rapid reversal process, not a gradual one. The galactic polar shift is associated with large-scale magnetic connections in our galaxy. It relates to the idea of a magnetic tunnel surrounding the solar system, connecting two regions, nodes, and the northern polar spar and the fan region. These regions are connected by a system of parallel magnetic filaments that form a magnetic tunnel around the local arm when our sun is located. Where our sun is located? Solar change. The north and south magnetic poles of the sun will change places this year, 2024. By changing the poles, the sun could take the satellites out of orbit. This change occurs every 11 years, but it would be more serious now because the sun has become much more active. We have seen the greatest solar activity in the last 20 years that causes more coronal mass ejections. The change in polarity of the sun refers to the periodic phenomenon in which the sun's magnetic field reverses approximately every 11 years which implies a change in the orientation of the solar magnetic poles. This process is part of the solar cycle and has effects on the sun's magnetic activity, such as the formation of sunspots and the emission of the radiation. The sun's change in polarity could have effects on Earth, especially in terms of solar activity and solar storms. During these periods of polarity change, Phenomena such as sunspots, giant eruptions, and coronal mass ejections can be observed that can launch a large amount of energy and matter into space, affecting the solar system. The consequences of these solar ejections could disrupt communication satellites in orbit and, in extreme cases, disconnect parts of the planet's electrical grid. For example, disruption to shortwave radio communications have been reported in Central America and other parts of the world as a result of solar activity. Despite this possible impact on terrestrial technology, large solar explosions can also generate auroras at the North and South Poles, offering an impressive natural spectacle. Although solar storms can have drastic effects on Earth's technology, they also provide us with fascinating visual phenomena such as the northern lights, sun flash. Once every decade, we have a 20x solar flare. Once every century, we get an X30 flash, which is even more powerful. And in a very rare case, we get an X40 flash. These are very strong events. And if sometimes, like this happens now, it would reverse the pole, creating the polar shift. When the solar flare occurs, many species could become extinct because the tsunami that would follow will destroy everything on the planet's surface. The solar flare is the galactic central sun that activates the core of the sun in the scalar field. Our sun changes its polarity every 11 years. But here we are talking about galactic interference at the scalar level. The galactic central sun activates our sun every 13,000 years during solar maximum, and solar maximum will occur next year according to official science. Magnetic change. According to COBRA, we are in the initial phase of the magnetic polar shift that could trigger a physical polar shift. At the time of the magnetic polar shift, the strength of the magnetic field would decrease and the structure between Earth's crust and the mantle would change. 
there is a setting transition zone between the two, called the Mohorovici discontinuity. This is a very thin layer, and when the magnetic field around it decreases, it loses its intensity and becomes more liquid, and the mantle can no longer support the crust, so the two unravel. But the mantle rotation continues as the crust stops spinning, creating a surface tsunami. The change in the Earth's magnetic polarity, also known as magnetic reversal, involves the shifting of the poles and magnetic flux, resulting in a change in the Earth's magnetic field. This phenomenon has occurred several times throughout history, with the last magnetic reversal occurring about 41,000 years ago. During that period, Earth's magnetic protection was weakened, leading to weather disasters, thunderstorms, changes in the biosphere, and species extinction. Scientists estimate that the magnetic pole reverse every 200,000 to 300,000 years and more than 700,000 years have passed since the last reversal. Protection. The Earth's magnetic field is crucial to protecting life on Earth against solar and cosmic radiation, acting as a protective shield. Regarding the consequences of a magnetic reversal, loss of the ozone layer, large-scale meteorological changes, glaciation, glaciation, ultraviolet radiation and extinction of species of animals and flora have been observed. With the Carrington event that occurred in 1859, which was a very strong solar emission, the dismantling of the Earth's magnetic field began. The process is accelerating in recent decades. Now 25% of magnetic field has been lost and it decreases 1% to 2% each year, but now perhaps more. On New Year's Eve, there was a very strong solar flare the strongest in decades. This is getting ev even stronger. In summary, the Earth's magnetic polarity shift is a natural phenomenon that has occurred in the past and can have significant impacts on weather, life, and modern technologies if it occurs today. Diason sphere. As we approach a solar flare, many motherships have, are positioning themselves in setting waves around the sun to stabilize with Dyson spheres. Those spheres must balance the coming changes with the galactic superwave, because those changes are already coming. Therefore, they have to balance the strong energy so that the Earth goes through the transition in the most harmonious way possible. One thing they do with the Dyson spheres is harmonize the tectonic plates of the Earth so that we do not have earthquakes and volcanic eruptions every day. It is quite a challenging technology and is taking more decades due to the delay. The forces of light are stabilizing the Earth's crust all this time and preventing a premature polar shift. They were preventing most of the volcanic eruptions of recent years. Without their intervention, we would already have a cataclysm. Atlantic Equator. The North Pole was between Siberia and Japan, and then there was a 30-degree polar shift about 3,000 years ago. What would happen at this time would be similar, but similar. Dot. I couldn't predict exactly what it will be like, but Cobra says it will cause a huge tidal wave. That process would be unavoidable at a certain point. It may not happen soon, but it has to happen. If it happened too soon, it would be a problem because the polar shift and tsunami would not eliminate the entire anomaly. There is evidence about the ancient equator. The geological evidence is the microtectites that originally reached the planet's surface about 13,000 years ago. You can see the locations where the tectites were found. They are also the places where the ancient goddess of the equator was located before the last polar shift occurred. And that's all for today. 
think's a lot difference.